Welcome to this video. My name is Jens and I'm the creator of Animatable. This video is proudly sponsored by Rococo, which is a company that provides full body motion capture tools for 3D creators like you. I'm gonna talk more about that later. If you don't know anything about motion capture, don't worry, because that is all what this video is about. So let's dive in. Motion capture, or mocap for short, is the process of recording the movement of objects or people. To capture the motion, sensors are placed all over an actor. These track and record their movements, allowing them to be mapped on a computer screen in real time as a virtual skeleton. Animators then use computer programs to overlay information on top of the movements, creating a virtual set for the movement to take place in. Let's take a quick dive into the history of motion capture. One of the most memorable examples of motion capture is probably Andy Serkis' representation of Smeagol or Gollum as you might know him from The Lord of the Rings. During 2002, the release of Peter Jackson's movie Lord of the Rings The Fellowship of the Ring, the character Gollum was revealed, and motion capture used in cinema would never be the same again. The character was brought to life by the digital visual effects company Weta Digital. Gollum is often credited with truly pushing motion capture to new heights within the industry, and setting an example of what can truly be achieved. But the revolutionary technique of motion capture didn't begin on the legendary adventure to Mordor, and it certainly didn't end there. Mocap was born a lifetime before Gollum hit the big screens in Lord of the Rings. Back in the days, animators developed a technique called rotoscoping and laid the foundation for today's cutting edge mocap technology. Rotoscoping is the process of creating animated sequences by tracing over live action footage frame by frame. Though it can be time consuming, rotoscoping allows animators to create lifelike characters who move just like people in the real world. We have come a long way since then, and the future of motion capture is marvelous, and probably with the presence of AI. This is becoming increasingly possible with the constant development of technology. This will mean fewer cameras required on set, which gives more flexibility in terms of space that is used. Motion capture in cinema used to be reserved for large studios with a lot of money, which makes sense, since the total setup and hardware costs can range from around 200,000 to a million dollars. This will of course vary depending on the production. Although equipment used by large studios is still very expensive, the magic of motion capture and 3D character animation is now also accessible to indie 3D artists. This is because more and more alternatives has come on the market in recent years. Like today's sponsor Rococo, they offer high-end motion capture tools at a price most creators can afford. Although it's still a lot of money for an individual user, it is not expensive. With their SmartSuit Pro and their software Rococo Studio Live, you can sync and stream one or multiple motion capture devices into the same scene directly to your preferred 3D animation software for real-time character animation. And the great thing is that Rococo Studio supports plugin integrations for Unreal Engine, Unity, Blender, Cinema 4D, Maya, Houdini and many more. In the opening scene for this video, I used Rococo's facial motion capture features. Let me walk you through the process. It all started when I received this amazing model from the hugely talented artist Bruno Afonso. I will leave a link to his art station account in the description. Right off the bat the model couldn't do much, so I made the 52 blend shapes needed to make facial motion capture using an iPhone. The iPhone must have the true death camera in order for it to work. I then opened up Rococo Studio Live, where I connected my phone via the Rococo Studio app, and then I was all set to record some facial movement. When I was happy with my performance, I exported the data over to Blender as an FBX file. Then I copied the keyframes from my facial performance over to my character, and then I was almost done. However, motion capture is not completely perfect, and even with the best equipment you will have to do some cleanup work. So I deleted the keyframes that created jitter, and some other keyframes as well to create a smooth animation. I also noticed that my character's teeth were clipping with his lips, so I had to make some adjusting shape keys. With the animation done, I just needed to make the camera movement, the lighting, and the finishing great. And with all that done, I moved on to the sound design. Ah, so. And that was a wrap. Ah, so. Motion capture is sure enough an unbelievable technology that makes the whole process from idea to reality much simpler. I will be doing tutorials in the future where I will work with mocap and I'm super excited to see just how crazy results I can get. I really hope that even more people will have access to mocap technology in the future so creators can unleash their imagination. I'm looking forward to seeing where mocap will take me and I do hope you will join me on my journey for who knows where it will end. <laughs> <laughs>